and welcome or welcome back to Life on the French. Uh, today I want to talk to you about our new adopted rescue hamster. We're going to call him Gamer. <laughs> um, so this is, we got him off of Facebook Marketplace um, where like you're not supposed to sell animals. To get more information about like Facebook Marketplace and where to adopt and rescue hamsters, see our previous video about adoption up here. Um, but this is, it came with this and a bag of other things. I think we left that in the car. That might, yeah, that might be in the car. Um, but uh, for $40. So it was a bit more, ex a bit more expensive than just buying a hamster. But it comes with all this kind of crappy stuff. Um, and we were more than willing to pay $40 to help out a hamster uh, in need. So I'll go more into uh, Gamer's backstory um, once we have him moved into his new cage. Uh, because this is not cutting it. And I'm going to discuss why this cage uh, is inadequate and why the upgraded cage is better. So... I hope you enjoy the time lapse of us setting up Gamer's new cage and then getting to see Gamer explore it and learning more about what to do with the rescue hamster. Okay, check in with you in a sec. Hi, hey, Gamer! Hi! Hi. Are you ready for your new home? You could probably take the mouse out first if you want. It's time for your new house! I don't, there's no way it's coming out. No, okay, stay in there. Okay. Gamer's mug shot. Here you go, Gamer. Try to eat it. Boop. Hi, gamer. Hi, gamer. Okay, let's put him in this new cage.
Okay, so we set up the cage, and we'll go. We'll give you a, a bigger description about the cage in a moment. But I wanted to just show you some of the reasons why this cage is not suitable for hamsters. Um, so this cage, uh, first first of all, um, I, this is hanging down. Uh, it, do, it doesn't have to be that way. They could have hung it up here, um, but didn't. The wheel size between that wheel and this wheel is probably two and a half inches. So this would bend the um, gamer's back. And then the other thing is, if you look at the pan depth of that, uh, and then compare that to the height of the bedding here, even if they had filled the bedding to the brim, which they did not, you aren't getting the six inches of bedding that your hamster would want to burrow in. Um, and then I would say the obvious difference between the two uh, enclosures is the size. This is literally half of the size of the 40 gallon tank. And this is the minimum 450 square inches for, or minimum 40 gallon tank uh, for a hamster. So when I saw the ad online, I knew that we wanted to, to get him uh, because he was very much loved when we went to pick him up. The family was very nice um, and they talked about how they, get, they gave him carrots all the time and I think that he was, I think he was really cared about and they, and they kept, they told us when we were leaving, like, take good care of him, you know. Um, so I do think they cared, I just don't think they knew better. Um, they had him for six months. Uh, before, right? They had him for six months um, before he came to us. Um, I don't know how long he would have been at the pet store for before then. Um, but then uh, they decided to get another. They decided to get a dog, um, and they have kids, and they decided they couldn't handle having a hamster and a dog. And I think maybe also the cat at once. Um, and while that could be true, I'm not saying that's not true, I do think that you have an obligation to the pets you already have before taking in another pet. Like we would not have gotten Gamer if we could not have gotten all of the stuff that Gamer needs to give Gamer a happy, healthy life. Um, the other thing you might notice about Gamer that we're a little concerned about is his weight. Um, if you've seen our other videos, he looks very similar to Patch, except chunky. Case in point. Uh, I was worried that he wouldn't understand foraging because he had a food dish, but clearly we'll have no issues. Um, but anyhow, so... We're gonna try and work on that. Um, I think by just going with what we feed our other hamsters, the weight should come off. If it doesn't, we're gonna take him to the vet. Um, the other thing we're gonna be looking out for is his teeth. Well, we have to put two more chews in there. There'll be an apple wood stick and a bamboo stick in here in a second. Uh, but he didn't have any chews in this cage. Um, at all. And if you want to compare textures, um, his nails are super long. And that's because there's nothing for him to like wear his nails down on in that cage. Whereas this material wears down the cage, like wears down the nails. And we're probably going to get him a rock as well because his nails are quite long. Once you've rescued a hamster, um, how should you proceed? So, as you saw, we set up the cage and then we transferred him in. Um, we won't be handling him for a week. Um, we're going to obviously be 
talking to him, like through the glass. Um, we're putting him in our bedroom so he'll get more of our scent. Uh, we're also going to do the uh, tissue trick, which I'll show you in a second. But to make sure that he feels at home and that this is his cage, we took some of his bedding, put it in here, and we also put in two of his plushy things that he likes. Um, but hopefully over time, we can take those out once he feels at home because you really shouldn't be giving plushies to a hamster. Um, but it was like the safest thing from his cage that we could put in here. So that's what we went with. So waiting a week and then we will try to start putting our hands in the cage because we do want him to feel like it's his cage, but also our cage. So like I can put my hand down here and here and here and making sure that he's okay with me handling things in the cage. And then we'll try uh, picking him up. We did have a video of him being held by his previous owner. So he is handleable, which is good. Um, but we still want to wait a week so it's not overwhelmed. Okay, so now we're gonna show you um, a trick that will help uh, your hamster get acquainted with your scent, that it's safe for the hamster. So, so all you need is a piece of tissue paper and you wipe it on your hands and like wherever it's gonna smell like you the most. Um, but typically your hands, um, and then you take the tissue paper and you just simply split it and put it in like it's bedding. Um, and it's just a little trick that can help you, um, help the hamster get used to you. Um, but really all it takes is some time. So, um, you won't be seeing uh, Gamer in our Easter video uh, because we are letting him chill for a week. Um, but we are very excited to include him in future videos. Uh, if you like this video, uh, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of our hamster content or other content, click subscribe. It's free and it will really help out our channel. And uh, click the, ding the bell button to know when we post. Uh, but most importantly, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye! You'll barely fit on the bridge. Such grace. Barely fits in that. Is that the first time seeing your reflection? <laughs>